Hi, I'm Sheila Graves, CEO of Simply Violin and a violin dealer for 30 years. In this video, I am going to show you what to do about a peg uh, that is either creaky or stuck. And uh, there's actually a very simple fix, and I'm sure you have what you need right in your own home. Um, this particular violin is a gorgeous 18th century violin, a very valuable instrument. And even on very expensive instruments, uh, the pegs can stick and they can have problems. So we're going to take a look at the D-string peg here. And you can hear that it just is not turning very smoothly. And it makes it hard to tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the string out. And then I'm going to take the peg out of the peg box. And then I'm just going to grab a plain old bar of soap. Uh, this happens to be Dove soap. Um, any soap will work. And uh, the one soap that actually you do want to avoid would be a soap like lava soap, which has pumice in it, which actually is very gritty and can damage uh, both the peg and the peg box. So just any sort of sm smooth soap will work quite nicely. What we want to do is just rub the soap on the peg and notice I'm not holding it over the violin because little pieces of soap will flake off and then we just take the peg we stick it into the back into the hole and then I turn the peg in both directions and actually as I'm doing this we can hear that the peg is not creaking it's not making any noise, and it is actually turning smoothly. Then I take the peg out, and I just grab a paper towel, and I just wipe the excess soap off the peg. I'm actually also helping to just kind of rub it into the peg as well. And I'm gonna give it one more treatment. So I just make sure that I'm getting soap on the areas of the peg where it's going to be touching in the peg box. And put the peg in, turn in both directions. It's turning just smooth as butter right now. Take the peg out, wipe it off. I'm also wiping any excess soap off the edge of the peg box on the violin. And then we're ready to put the string back in. So I just line up the peg so that I can see the hole. I get the string, try to get the end straightened out. Stick the uh, string into the peg with a little bit of a tail hanging out. And I start winding towards the edge of the peg box while keeping tension on the string. Then I make sure that the string is lining up in both the nut and the bridge. And then as I'm finalizing this procedure, I am pushing the peg in. And it's just that simple. Thank you.